Thank you. Next, we'll go live to Simon Ateba of Today News Africa. Mr. Ateba, you may ask your question. Thank you, Barista Scout, for doing this, and thank you for taking my question. This is Simon Ateba with Today News Africa in Washington, D.C. My question goes to both Captain Michael Concanon and Captain John Tully. On the maritime security threat, how big is China a threat to uh, U.S. national security in Africa when it comes to fishing and the rest? And uh, can you please tell us a little bit more about that last deployment? How do you partner with African countries? How do you select them? How many African countries participate in such exercises? Thank you. Well, thank you. This is Captain Con Cannon. And if I can, I'm going to field the second question first. And I'll defer to Captain Tully and Six Fleet Leadership to answer the first question. But again, thank you for your question. How do we partner with African countries? You heard Captain Tully talk about the exercises such as Phoenix Express, African Lion, Omengami Express, Cutlass Express, those exercises that we do around coastal Africa to work with our partner nations as we help them come through solutions to African problems that are partner supported. And, and we're happy to be one of those partners to help African nations come through these solutions. These exercises are very robust. They really challenge us and our partners to find solutions to solve some of these issues that are present as African coastal nations build their capability, build their capacity, learn how to operate with other nations, ourselves and our allies and our inner service partners. These exercises serve as a platform to do that learning, to do that cooperation, to do that engagement and with improved communication that improves our operation. We went beyond that, this deployment, and I think that we were very successful as noted in Captain Tully's opening remarks. In our interdiction operations, where we did maritime security operations, focused on partner-led, I'm sorry, the, the par our partners, our, our coastal African partners, leading with us supporting. These were partner-led operations, whether it be in Sierra Leone, are patrolling in the Senegal EEZ waters or off of the Cabo Verde EEZ. You know, those interdiction operations, those maritime security operations were partner led. And, and we, we gave them a lot of support that they needed in order to conduct the operation, but it was their operation. It was their law enforcement process that went through the, uh, the determination of the scope of the problem and what to do with it judicially, legally, and we were happy to be a part of that support. Uh, for the first question, I'll defer to Captain Tolley. Captain Tolley. Thanks, Captain Cookhead. I appreciate that. Um, I, I think when we talk about a problem like IEU fishing, it, it is a massive problem globally, and it's a massive problem in the, the Atlantic Africa region. You know, according to the Food and Agriculture Organization of, of the UN, uh, within the, just the region from Mauritania to Sierra Leone. You're, you're talking about a loss of, in the neighborhood of $2.3 billion to IU fishing and the loss of over 300,000 jobs. So it, it, it really is a crisis out there. Uh, and we're, we're dealing with fish stocks that are either approaching or already at the point of not being recoverable. Um, you know, and I alluded to this before, and I think Captain Concanon stated it pretty well when he talked about partner-led operations. You know, our priority when we're working with African countries is to assist our partners and helping them develop African-led solutions to the security challenges that they face. And we, we are very conscious in that we do not put our partners in a position that requires them to choose between working with the United States and other external actors when determining the best way to protect their own economic and sovereign interests in, in solving this problem. Uh, it, it is a massive problem. 